In this video, you will learn how to measure, manage and analyze your skills data using the new Knowledge Smart Skills platform. Just before we dive in, in Ken Robinson's wise words, human resources are like natural resources. They're often buried deep. You have to go looking for them. They're not just lying around on the surface. You have to create the circumstances where they show themselves. Knowledge Smart is the only skills management platform with an extensive AEC skills assessment and survey library, ready to use or customize to your exact requirements. You will be able to draw insight from a unique combination of skills assessment, standard survey and skill audit survey data. Our skill assessment library comprises over 84 assessment titles and our new skills audit survey library comprises 22 skills audits and over 1,200 skills audit questions. These skills audit questions are based on a range of topics including software skills, industry skills, soft skills, language ability and popular industry workflows. Let's take a look at the six positive outcomes you can expect after completing a skills audit. Outcome 1. Improved organizational knowledge and skills. As technologies and business models continue their rapid evolution, companies are experiencing a step change in the workforce skills they need to thrive and grow. As tasks become more automated and companies redesign jobs to encompass different activities, it will be critical to enact strategies that help employees develop the new capabilities needed. The Knowledge Smart platform allows you to be strategic in how you close skill gaps. Let's take a look at outcome number two, improved project integration and an improved user mindset. When we talk about project integration, we're of course talking about the coordination of all elements of a project. This includes coordinating tasks, resources, stakeholders and many other project elements. In addition, we're managing conflicts between different aspects of a project and having to make trade-offs between competing requests and evaluating our resources. Outcome number three, increased productivity and resource leveling, the right people on the right projects. So instead of overloading our star users, we're able to bring them into the right projects at the right time. We're also able to stay proactive in terms of upskilling so that parts of our workforce do not get overloaded. Outcome four, a comprehensive workforce matrix or plan. And this, of course, helps us with our compliance and project bids. Outcome five, a targeted training plan and reduced training spend. It is now more critical than ever for us to keep our teams engaged in, in project work and staying as productive as possible. Many teams are working from a remote environment and we need to start thinking about how to train them differently. The more targeted we can be about our training in terms of skill gaps and also alignment to current business goals, the better result we can expect. Outcome six, more innovation. So hidden skills are revealed and upskilling is supported by real data. So if leadership takes the organization into a new direction, we're able to check firstly internally whether we have the right skills to address those needs before incurring more expensive recruitment costs, for example. So what is the business case for using the full Knowledge Smart platform? How does the complete solution address the four common problems with standard skills matrices? Problem number one, the matrix on its own is based on opinion rather than observed behaviors and results. So how does Knowledge Smart address this? We have a user rating and a manager rating. 
User ratings and manager ratings can be analyzed together or independently of each other and it is through the manager rating that we are capturing the observed behavior and results. Problem number two, cognitive biases. And here, of course, we're talking about the Dunning-Kruger effect and the worse than average effect. When asked how competent someone is, they usually claim to be more or less competent than they are. Cognitive biases are systematic patterns of deviating from a norm or rationality and judgment. They are often studied in psychology and behavioral economics, and people with low ability at a task will often overestimate their ability. The worse than average effect or below average effect is the human tendency to underestimate one's achievements and capabilities in relation to others. So how do we address problem number two? We combine an independent skills assessment with a user's personal evaluation and that gives us another level of insight to address that. Problem number three, too much focus on technical ability and too little on soft skills. So learning ability or teamwork, for example. The skills and experiences in a matrix tend to focus too much on technology and process skills. This makes sense in the domain of software development, but the matrix often fails to include how effective someone will be at learning new things or their soft skills, both of which are equally important. So how does Knowledge Smart address problem number three? We have over 22 skills audits available in the skills library and we cover a unique combination of technical skills and soft skills. Topics include communication, mentoring, coaching, time management and soft skills. Problem number four. Conscious competence learning matrix, so focusing too much on high scores in isolation. If someone is competent in test modeling, what does that mean? Does this person know all the ways to model their testing? Are they learning about new ways of modeling? Are they using tooling to model? Are they good at teaching this approach to modeling with their peers? The conscious competence theory and related matrix model explain the process and stages of learning a new skill. If the awareness of skill and deficiency is low and non-existent, the learner is at the unconscious incompetent stage and the trainer and learner will simply not see the need for learning. It's essential to establish awareness of a weakness or training need, conscious incompetence, prior to attempting to impart or arrange training or skills necessary to move trainees from stage two to three, for example. People only respond to training when they are aware of their own need for it and the personal benefit they will derive from achieving it. So how do we address problem number four? We give you a unique ability to analyze data from all three parts of the Knowledge Smart platform. So here you're able to look at your standard survey responses, your skills audit ratings, as well as your skills assessment data. And you can use any combination of the data fields from these uh, areas of the platform. So what is the business solution? Using one workflow in isolation might not always achieve optimal results. Draw from a unique combination of skills data from the full Knowledge Smart solution. There are four areas of a skills gap analysis plan. Firstly, the plan scope. So is this plan based on individuals or teams? Secondly, who's in charge of the process? Is it the BIM team or is it the HR team or perhaps stakeholders from both of those teams? When will the audit be performed? Is it regularly performed? Is it done after poor performance? Is it done because there are project challenges, project feedback? Is it part of the annual appraisal process or perhaps part of annual strategic planning? How do we respond to those skill gaps? And this perhaps is one of the most important areas. We 
can address skill gaps through targeted training plans and also revised project resource plans, which might also encompass revised recruitment plans. Now let's take a look at the Knowledge Smart Skills use user journey. So a user will access a skills audit survey in two ways, either via a skills audit email invitation or alternatively via our new self invite functionality. So Knowledge Smart users, of course, have access to valuable individual user profile pages and they are able to self enroll for any skills audits made available to them. Users rate themselves by clicking the most applicable skill rating. Skill ratings are customizable based on a per skills audit basis. Once users have completed the survey, they submit their responses for review. Users can view their skill ratings from within the individual user pages and also download a handy skill survey certificate. If their skill ratings change, users can edit their initial responses and via the skills audit history area, they can resume skills audit sessions, view their skills survey certificates and also track progress. Skills survey certificates also include targeted training tags based on the skills gaps identified. Here is a good example of that certificate. Here we are looking at the skills with the user ratings and then the relevant training tags on the right. This means that users and managers can track progress via the skills rating history page. Now a part of the platform that we are really excited about. Knowledge Smart administrators will be able to take advantage of a new area called Teams. And we're hoping that this functionality will empower managers because empowering them is the secret to engaged employees. Knowledge Smart administrators can create as many teams as they like, assign team members and also a team manager. Managers can view and drill down into the team skills survey data. Managers can also add a manager rating as verification or another perspective of the user rating. Managers can view skills history and can have multiple teams with unique names under their management. Managers can view and export team skills assessment results if those have been completed and also view and export team skills survey data. Now let's take a look at the administrator journey. Administrators can customize any Knowledge Smart published skills survey. They can also create bespoke skills survey audits based on their unique requirements. Administrators can add other administrators and manage highest level account permissions. They can add new linked accounts and replicate existing account settings. Administrators can add their own logo and define visibility and also define job roles and link job roles to user profiles. Knowledge Smart has a, has a comprehensive list of job titles within the platform already, but administrators will be able to add new job titles not found in this list and also do a bulk import of job titles via our Manage User Data area. Administrators can customize skills audit invites and track skills audit history as well as resend invites if needed. Administrators can also track skills audit responses by individual or team and view a summary of skills audit responses as well as export skills audit data. Administrators can create teams, as I mentioned before, and also assign a team manager. 
So here we are showing you how to assign the team members and on the right hand side how to view and group user skills. Administrators can edit skill tags to align with internal naming conventions or learning tags inside e-learning platforms. So each skills audit question has a unique category tag as well as a training or learning tag. Administrators can also easily move skills audits from one linked account to another if needed. Administrators can apply a learning path filter to influence tar targeted training plans. And this is done via the skills audit settings area. It is also possible to edit skill rating descriptions on a per skills audit basis. Another feature that we are very, very excited about is the Knowledge Smart Skills Search or People Finder tool. Here, administrators will be able to draw from a unique combination of skills assessment, skills audit, and standard survey data to perform a skill search. And the results will show a full match or an exact match or a partial match. It is possible to create multiple skill search queries, save them and export the results. It is possible to export skills audit data at parent or child level. The same way that you're able to take a consolidated data export from the skills assessment platform, you're also now able to do that from the skills platform. So you will notice a brand new consolidated data export at the click of a button. You can then utilize this consolidated data export to upload your data into our Power BI template, which we have made available for the skills platform. And you will also be able to easily customize bespoke Power BI dashboards if required. For more information on the Knowledge Smart Skills platform, please visit aecskills.com or our landing page shown over here, and we will be able to book a personal walkthrough for you and your team. We look forward to hearing from you, and we are very, very excited to see the results uh, start appearing on our skills platform.